Fortunate, he is my old friend, Narsingha Maharaj. And I am very fortunate to come here also. It's my first time to be here. But my sister said to come, and I cannot say no to her. It's my fortune. And I feel very nice by coming here. Today, Maharaj said the essence, beautiful thing, relation is the important thing. <coughs> I saw you, Prabhupada. Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita is there. He, he gives the essence of what to do in the life. Yes, I show you. Can you bring the Prabhupada Gita? Yes. Wow. You, you give so sweet lecture, Maharaj. Really, what to do, you say? Really, I can suggest to you, if you do, you will get it. Prabhupada is it. Start this from Bhagavad Gita, what to do in life. <laughs> Why I want to share you, we have to meditate on this point. Too much thing talking and I cannot do anything. What is the use? See the point, what Maharaj say, Sambandha and Saru. Two things I show you, Maharaj. <coughs> Read from here, Maharaj. Oh. Yeah, listen. He tells Arjuna that he is relating the supreme secret to him because Arjuna. Supreme secret. <laughs> he share now to us. Is a Bhagavad Gita start with this? If you understand this supreme secret, really you don't. Everything will be clear. Because Arjuna is his devotee and his friend. You see. You understand this line? Mm -hmm. What, say? <coughs> it is Shakyaras. He is in Arjuna is in Shakyaras. So yeah. Devotee means friend. I become devotee, no relation, nothing will work. Mm. If I become only devotee, is a passive mood without sambandha. Maharaj said just now, without relation there is no devotion. But I am trying to become devotee, but when relation will happen, then I am devotee. Understand? Read this again, try this line, you see? 
Maharaj, give the essence what I want to say. <clears throat> because Arjuna is his devotee and his friend. <clears throat> I have to check myself what I am. I am only devotee or with relation devotee. Chaitanya Chaitamrit, the friend, parently love and conjugal love. Three recommendations is there, right? Mm -hmm. Prabhupada also mentioned about <laughs> passive and active also, right? Mm -hmm. Passive, active and three relations. But relation is start from friend, is a basic <laughs> relation. Sakya. You know, Sakya is a basic relation. He said, okay, he is not mother, he is my friend. He accepts me friend and I accept to him friend. This point you have to understand. Now Singha Mahara is a very important point. The purport of this is that Bhagavad Gita is a treatise which is especially meant for the devo devotee of the Lord. Means who be, want to be in relation with Lord. Lord. Yes. Not only that I change my clothes and I become devotee, no. Relation. <clears throat> There are three classes of transcendentalists, namely the Kiani. One is, I want to become transcendental, but with knowledge. Only I want to study many books. Jnani. You will become Jnani, no devotee. Devotee means relation. Go on. The yogi? Yogi also you can become. Jnani, yogi, you can become, no problem. <laughs> Go on. And the bhakta. Jnani, yogi and, and the bhakta. Bhakta. Bhakta means relation. <laughs> no, one thing more. Jnani, yogi and the bhakta. Only bhakta. Bhakta is said. <laughs> so we have, we have to decide the category. We want to go in relation or we want to become jnani only. Knowledge we want to develop in life, right? Or we want to become yogi, renounce life living in the forest. What do you want to become? Decide. Or the impersonalist, the meditator and the devotee. You see. One is impersonalist. Who wants to become God? Impersonal means I don't want relation. Impersonal. One wants personal means he want relation. Impersonal <laughs> I don't want relation. I want impersonal. Why? Because if I am not impersonal, how I will become God? I want to get all power and go become God. It's impersonal, no relation. Hmm. Here the Lord clearly tells Arjuna that that he is making him the first receiver of a new parampara, hmm. disciple succession, because the old succession was broken. Yeah. It was the Lord's. It was the Lord's wish, therefore, to establish another parampara in the same time of thought that was coming down from the Sun God to others. And it was his wish that his teaching be distributed 
and knew by Arjuna. He wanted Arjuna to become the authority in understanding the Bhagavad Gita. So we see that Bhagavad Gita is, ins is instructed to Arjuna, especially because Arjuna was a devotee of the Lord, a direct student of Krishna, and his intimate friend. Understand. <laughs> friend. Devotee, direct student, but friend person. Sammandagya. So important. Why we cannot come from my senses, body and mind, material things? Because there is no relation. It's spiritual. So we are so much materially involved ourselves. Because of no relation here, I have a relation with this, with the senses but, and with the flesh, with the mind. I am so involved there. Hmm. I cannot relate. I have no feelings in spiritual. When the relation will come, automatic devotion will come. And by devotion you will get the, your form. Friendly form, motherly form, conjugal form any form, what you like. If I am devotee, <coughs> to what type of devotion I have? Mother, you see in material world, mother is devoted to son. Friend is friend. So my relation, when this will fix, surely that sarup will come. My form will come, a spiritual form. Because to relate, Without form, how you will relate? Soul will not relate, bulb will not relate with this world. Form will relate with the form. <coughs> that is the point. <coughs> Essence and the goal of life, Maharaj say, so simply to understand. But I have to understand this, my dear. Go on. Repeat this line. So we see that Bhagavad Gita is instructed to Arjuna, especially because Arjuna was a devotee of the Lord, <clears throat> a tired student of Krishna and his intimate friend. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita is best understood by a person who has qualities similar to Arjuna's. You see, similar to Arjuna. What quality? Relation quality. Relation. When the relation comes, you know one story, what happened? Duryodhana and Arjuna, when the Kurukshetra Yudha start, Duryodhana say you to Krishna, you are very impossible. You have to be, you are a lord, you have to independently take care of everyone. You only take care of Arjuna. Why? It's not good for you, Krishna. He say, what you see in me? You have to natural, you prom, uh, you, and you have to see to me also, to uh, Pandavas also. He said, yes, I can do. So he said, okay, you call both of to us and to Pandavas tomorrow, and who come first? You have to give what they want. He said, yes, come. So he said to Arjuna and Yudhisthira to come also 
in morning time and to Kauravas also, Duryodhana. So Duryodhana has to ask something. So his secretary, Mama Sakuni, say, you ask three things. Take all wealth of Krishna, all army of Krishna, and say that he no take any army. <clears throat> then what you, you, you win, you will win. He said, yes, you are right. <laughs> so I have to go very early to ask this. No? So he, he think that Krishna wake up at five, so why not I go forth and sit and wait there, what I will do in the bed? So he went early and he took the chair and near to the head and he sit near to Krishna and he's watching when Krishna will open the eyes. And Arjuna think, oh, he wake up five, why to disturb him? I have to go half an hour late <laughs> because he should sleep and rest. So he went late, five thirty. But he see Duryodhana is sitting there and watching when Krishna opened the eyes. <coughs> Arjuna went and he started massaging the feet of Krishna. That he opened his eyes. And when he started massaging, then Krishna opened his eyes. <laughs> because some some feelings he opened. When he opened, then he see Arjuna. Mm -hmm. Because when you are lying on the <coughs> bed, you see the feet, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, see like this, who is sitting near to you. So he said, oh, Arjuna, you come? He said, yes, I come. But Duryodhana said, no, no, <laughs> I am before <laughs> then, Arjuna. <laughs> Ajah, you are early. He said, yes. I am two hours early. Okay. <laughs> Ask your trouble is first. He said, I need all your wealth, all your army, arms, ambitions, and everything, armies. And one promise from you that you will not take any arm. He said, Yes, I give you. <laughs> then he said, Arjuna, now your terms, what you want from me? I, I give everything for the battle, fighting things. What do you like to take? He said, Krishna, I don't want anything. I want you only. I don't want anything of you. I want you. <laughs> when you have a relation, you say like this. When you have no relation, you want things from that. Sammanda <laughs> no? <clears throat> makes you that you don't interested in material things. Even you are not interested in your material body. You want this material body to survive, to increase your spiritual love with the Lord. That is the goal of life. This is the beauty of relation. You know, you feel that you are related with this material body. You thinking about the senses, I thinking only with my mind is my nature. Is a creator creates like this, right? How you can change this? You cannot, but you can change. How you can change? To knowing by your bhajan, your spiritual identity, that you are living entity. By grace of Gurudev, we know 
and we develop relation with Krishna. And when we start practicing devotion in that relationship, automatic my relation in spiritual soul takes form of in that soul, like a friend's form, motherly form, a conjugal level form. And that you, when you test with the Krishna this beautiful test of his relations and his feeling, forget, you forget automatic. You need that material body to test more and more higher. Hmm. They will not disturb you, my dear. <clears throat> His disturbance is only that when you stay there. When you go in the relation, all set. So beautiful thing. More than that, what to do? You see, Prabhupada is writing page four first. If you understand, and you will understand all Bhagavad Gita, all is scripture. Bhagavad Gita is the scripture. If you don't do this, not understand, you will get time to understand everything. You read, you will never understand. Like Duryodhan never understand. Only he is asking materials. Anything, that way I will win my life, games, and we never win, we lose everything. All power, all militaries, all money was there, but who win? Only five Pandavas, they win because Krishna is with them. They are friend of Krishna. Its relation works or not? Someone. <laughs> That's a mandha Maharaj is telling. Understand? Go on, Maharaj. <clears throat> that is to say, he must be a devotee. Is a direct <clears throat> relationship with the Lord. No, you miss two lines. Yes, <laughs> you read that. This is very elevated subject. Should I repeat that? I no, repeat you more? don't read that. That Before is. That. Read more. Therefore, was, Bhagavad Gita is best understood by a, by a person who has qualities similar to Arjuna. Yes, they can understand. With similar qualities, you have. You want to become friend of the Krishna, you will understand. If you don't want to become in relation, it takes time. <laughs> Without relation, how you will understand? In material world, if I want to understand him, I cannot understand without relation. Understand. I can understand. You understand me. You know what? I understand him. He understand because I have fifteen years relation. Right, Mara? Maybe fifteen life. I hope. Oh, fifteen life. We understand each other. It is a simple thing. It is not complicated. If you want to understand something, you have to come in relation. In material life. And what about the spiritual life? A new thing? No, same thing. <laughs> Understand? It's so easy, no? No complicated. <laughs> to what relation we do? Passive relation. We go to the church, giving sin taking some business, giving and taking. Not, not that I want to be with you in relation. What is the use of that one? Huh? I meet many times, but I have no relation. Feelings will come. No? I see Raga in Germany and I, I feel 
She is my daughter. Well, she, I got it after a long time. Right? You don't feel like this? So that's the point. When there is no relation, you will never feel. Right or not? No passive activities, then you are like a tree only. Tree, how? A tree has no relationship. <laughs> no become tree, my dear. It's better to become tree in Vrindavan. <laughs> <laughs> but what is the use to become tree here? Huh? <laughs> that is to say, you must be a devotee in a direct relationship with the Lord. Yeah. No, one line you are missing, Maharaj. <laughs> this, this is very elevated subject. I can repeat it again. Yeah, 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 read. I am missing. It's come later, would it? Later, Acha, Acha. Oh, sorry. I, I want to explain that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, so it goes. Yeah. As soon as one becomes a devotee of the Lord, he also has a direct relationship with the Lord. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 some place. Before this. This is very elevated subject. We, we read all this here. So read again, that I want to <laughs> Okay. From where? Uh, I read from here. So. He wanted Arjuna to become the authority in understanding the Bhagavad Gita, so we see that Bhagavad Gita is instructed to Arjuna, especially because Arjuna was a devotee of the Lord, a direct student of Krishna and his intimate friend. Go on. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita is best understood by a person who has qualities similar to Arjuna. That is to say, he must be a devotee in a direct relationship with the Lord. That's the point. Direct. Go on. Yes, sir. As soon as one becomes a devotee of the Lord, he also has a direct relationship with the Lord. How many times, Prabhupada? Direct relation. Direct relation. Direct relation. The good writer never repeats the same line. Understand? But the important line he repeat, cutting all the thing because this is the way to do. You have to understand. We have to repeat every day that we need direct relation. You know, that's the important thing. You understand? That is to understand. Go on. Yeah. That is very elaborate yeah. subject matter. Do you see? This point is very elaborated subject about relation. It is not small. Don't take it like this. <laughs> Maharaj, you give the right way to us. Jaiho. Very Repeat this line, that I want to say. <laughs> that is a very elo elaborate subject matter. It's all scripture, essence is this. Until you don't develop relation, we will not understand. You cannot understand anyone without relation. Yeah. But 